Oh. Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. It's not quite as cold as a refrigerator, but very, very close. And besides, I don't have enough kitchen bench space to make this much of a mess. And if I did, I don't want sugar all over the floor. So, a bit of whiskey, thaw me out. Uh, up there is my meat safe, ready. I've got to make a shelf to fit in. Now, first things first, make sure everything's clean. White vinegar. Everything is going to be washed with white vinegar. Don't skimp. Plenty of it. Wipe everything. And uh, when the uh, copper, which means head, coli, is uh, air drying, and I see any mold or anything that's even suspicious, I will uh, dab it with a damp cloth with more vinegar. Okay, butcher's twine. Make sure you have extra cheesecloth or a very fine fabric. The sun's shining over there, but not here. I didn't want to be in the sun. White wine for rinse. Stout for next. So while I'm doing that, I'm just going to prepare the secret herbs and spices. What we have here, salt, raw sugar, black pepper, smoked paprika, we've got oregano, there's thyme, um, sage, sorry, not oh, sage, anyway, garlic powder, onion powder, bay leaf, my own bay leaf, and uh, it's all going to get ground up, and if I spill out here, it doesn't matter, because I can always turn the hose on it. Where if I get all this stuff on the kitchen floor, walking around barefoot on, uh, on a sticky floor with sugar on the floor, is not nice. It's horrible. Mm. Right. And Gus is locked up inside. Because I don't want him hanging around my feet because he's interested in uh, in the copper, which is here. So now I've got to clean that up. Now I spilled a little bit already. No big deal. Throw that back in there. Squeeze it out again. We'll give it a really good rinse this time. Really good squeeze as well. Oh. Three and a half to four degrees. <laughs> Celsius. Not nice. Cold. My fingers. Okay. This has been in the refrigerator with uh, my secret spice recipe that I already told you about. And uh, that's going to go in here in a minute. Now, I've got to get all this sugar, and well, not all of it, but most of it off. This is the pork neck. And... Uh, I should be weighing it right now, but I won't. 
because I'm going to rinse it first. Yeah, white wine's not my favorite, but that's all right. Already <sighs> made a mess. Da, 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 da. Just keep wipe, wiping things down. Let's see, a couple more glasses of, of uh, white wine. Bortley's from Griffith, New South Wales. I prefer their Cab Merlot. Dry white wine is not my favorite. Okay, that's enough of that. Sticky fingers already. I've only begun. Okay. Because this is already firmed up a fair bit. That's nice. I like that. Vinegar. Wipe down everything ten times over. Don't skimp. Now. I'm going to pat it dry. Oh, yeah, don't skimp. Biggest mistake you can make is to uh, try and be a little bit too frugal. That's a big word for the day, frugal. But it's bigger than the word skimp. Yeah, all right. <sighs> Squeeze out as much of that moisture as you can get. After it's been sitting in the uh, meat safe for uh, a month, I'll take it out again and uh, weigh it. And uh, if all goes well, it will have lost. 30% or a little bit more in its uh, original weight. Okay, that's looking good. Let's get this thing ready. I've got more than I need. Wrap it around the shed to, uh, to get some of this. Because the thing is, I'm just going to... No, I won't cut it off. If I cut it off now, chances are that I'll cut it too short, and I don't want to do that. I was looking for some collagen sheep, but the local butcher didn't have any. So, cheesecloth or something very close to cheesecloth is... Uh, the next best thing and it will come off the collagen sheet can actually be left in place come on oh my fingers are cold but there's no snow here there's snow up in the highlands there was snow coming down on uh, Saturday night in Mount Wellington. Yesterday there was snow falling on uh, that fern tree, which is halfway up Mount Wellington. And I know if I went back in the hills, I would find snow up there. Now I've got to get this over the next level. There we go. Because otherwise, trying to get it around that bit of, bit of pork neck would not be very easy. <sighs> Come on. 
Come on. Ah, my fingers. My fingers. And a friend of mine and his wife are stuck up uh, the top end of, uh, of Queensland with uh, faulty brakes on their uh, on their caravan. When you're towing a three-ton caravan and the brakes lock up, not fun. But I'm sure there's worse places to be uh, to be stranded. And I'm sure they're a lot warmer than I am right now. I didn't want that to go over the end. Now I'm gonna try and get it. Ah, crap. Ah. This is what I didn't want to do. I went too far. And it's really stretchy. And this elastic is not letting me get it back over easily. Oh crap. Come on. Almost. Almost. Yes. 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 Okay. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Oh shit. All right. <laughs> All right, now my fingers are really cold. And because it's so bloody cold, how cold is it? Oh, it's warmed up six degrees. What's that in Fahrenheit? I don't know. Not very warm. Ah, now throw that out. I can't do this in the kitchen. <laughs> Actually, I won't put it in there. I'm just going to put it right on my improvised table. Rub it in, cover everything. The ends, you name it, cover it. Don't skimp. If you don't think you've covered it, add more. Make sure you cover everything, every little bare spot you can find. Rub it in, open it up. Cover everything. Okay. That's pretty good. Oh, mm. that was dry. I won't get them wet again. Smoked paprika. Orange skin, just like somebody that I really, really detest who likes to have orange skin because he thinks it makes him look manly with his comb over hair. Are joking about having getting a wig or doing a comb over. Nah, not gonna happen. All right, now open this thing up. This is nice. I can just sweep it all on the floor. <laughs> Good fun. Okay.
The biggest problem with the uh, air drying is that the outside becomes so tough, you end up cutting so much away. So I'm going to be alternating between air drying in the meat safe and putting it in uh, in a bag in the refrigerator. Plenty extra. <laughs> good. Make sure you have some really good scissors. These are emergency services scissors. The kind that they use in hospitals. The kind that uh, the uh, paramedics use, ambulance services. Because if they have an accident that they have to... Uh, uh, attend to. They've got to be able to cut away seatbelt webbing. They've got to be able to cut away felt clothing, heavy woolen jumpers, jeans, leather belts, boots, everything. And they are not going to waste time. They are going to do it, and they are going to do it quickly. Ah. My fingers are cold. Uh, okay. Come on. Twist. Backhand knot every uh, every couple inches. Move it down if you have to. Tighten it up. Do another one. Oh, there goes the scissors. If they land on the ground, throw them in the vinegar. I can always put uh, oil on them later. I hope this is actually showing up on the camera because you want it to keep its shape so you need it nice and firm. A fly went by, but it's not the big uh, blowflies that we have here in Australia. Too cold for that. <laughs> yeah, well, it goes without saying, really. Give that down a little touch. Do one more. I can still hear the surf. It was roaring the other night. Tighten it up just like you would a pair of boot laces. I think that's pretty good. Spacing is pretty horrible, but it won't matter. I'm not after fancy looks. Now, two more up here, and I'll produce uh, a clove hitch. Nah, it's loosening up now. Shit. I didn't say that. More whiskey will do. Ah. 
I forgot to rinse it in the stout. Oh, well, I can drink that later. Yeah. And a third one, to be sure, to be sure. Oh. Oh. Give yourself something, a way to hang it. Oh, come on, fingers. My fingers are cold. As soon as I feed the chooks, I am going to go in and light the fire. Oh, that's it. Pork neck. Coppercolia. Oh, one month later. And we'll see what we've got. I'll unwrap it, take off a slice or two. If I think it's still too moist, I'll wrap it back up again. Now I've got apple wood chips ready for smoking. I'm just going to give it a light smoke. So uh, all that comes off, it sits on a rack. And gets just a light smoke, not a hot smoke. It'll be a cold smoke. Oh. Step number two, done. Step number one. And all the moisture that has come off and has been absorbed by that sugar salt mix, this is the second lot. That was one cup of raw sugar, one cup of, uh, of salt, plus all my herbs and spices. And I left it three days. Then I rinsed it off in stout this time, I, I remembered. And I made up a second batch. And it's still, you can still see how much moisture has come off from the meat. Smells good. <laughs> That's it. Wayne's Weird World. Frozen fingers. Coppercolia. Air dried pork neck. See you next time. Cheers.